On today's episode, how to make a responsive progress bar animation using JavaScript. It's really going to be simple and very easy to start up. Also, the code will be in the description below in case you want to check it out. So I already gone ahead to open my file, um, my folder in VS Code, which is the code editor that I make use of. And as you can see, I have um, the assets folder. In the assets folder, there is a CSS folder, and then the start of CSS file in that folder. And then in the image folder, we have this image that we're going to be using, the one you saw earlier. And then after that, we have the JS folder. In the JS folder, we have our main .js folder, and as you can see, it is empty at the moment. So right now, the only thing that we have something on is just the HTML, and it's just the boilerplate that is on it. So first, I'm going to change this up to progress bar in JavaScript. Wait, yes. Next, I'm going to link my CSS. So, um, link CSS, and then link next. I'm going to grab the icon that we'll be using uh we're going to be using box icons so i'm going to grab that from um here uh -huh. the box icons.com i'm going to click on the github i'm going to scroll down and then i want to use as uh, use var css so i'm going to grab this link right here and paste it in my head tag just like that next I'm going to link my JavaScript file so right here I'm just going to do script Uh. Once that is done I'll come back to um, my browser and then I'm going to open up um, fonts that's google.com so right here we're going to grab the fonts that we need and um, in my case I'll be using Montserrat this one and then I'll select a um, few weights that I want so the first one is going to be i think 300 i guess and 600 i think that's enough so i'm going to import with css copy this and back to my style the CSS folder. I'm going to paste that in right there. Next. All right. So since we have that, now let's start with this body right here. So we are going to have uh, a simple layout. Um, 
as you can see from the original file right here first I'm going to start with the mobile version 375 like I always do for all my coding um, tutorials so as you can see we have um, the header section with this image and text and then the name of the author and also the date the post was or article was published so then we have some dummy text and all alright so in order to achieve this this is the file we are actually working with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dock it to the side uh, okay first before I do that let's yeah let me just set one or two things right here I'm just gonna speed up this process because um, most of us already know HTML so and if you want to uh, maybe check on some of my tutorials on HTML and CSS I'll leave a link in the description below so I'm just gonna fast forward this Okay, so once that is done, um, let's move to our style.css for now. I think this should be enough for now. So I'm just going to save the index.html and then move to style.css. So in our style, uh, I'll make a default settings. So I'll grab all the then I'll give a margin 0 margin of 0 and then a padding of 0 <coughs> and then box sizing it's going to be border box just like that then for the body I'm going to set the width to 100 view width and then the height to 100 view height next the font family uh, i'm just going to copy this over that's why i left that tab open so we're going to come here and copy this now we can close this we don't need it anymore and i'm going to paste this right here so now as you can see this is the file we are working with right now this is everything on this page and um, you can see this text so if i should save it now and go back the fonts have changed because now we are using Montserrat fonts instead of the default font that comes with um, HTML all right so the next thing I want to do is uh, I'm just going to add in overflow X here just in case it's going to be hidden now for the proper styling I'm going to set the images or the image because we have one but if there are more, I'm just going to set their width to 100% right here. Next, the section, I'm going to grab the section. And uh, yeah, I think this is um, okay. Let me set this, dock this to the side, and then this as well, so I can see what I'm working on actually. Okay. So here it is. All right. So for the section, I'm going to set a max width of about um, 980 pixel, about that. And then for the container, the container is going to be margin left of um 1.5 rem 
same as margin right and now if I hit save you can see there's this space right here all right okay looking good already so the next thing I want to do is um, style the hero so for the hero I'm just gonna put a position of uh, relative right here a hero so that our hero um our hero absolutes let's do hero absolutes that's gonna be positioned absolute and then the top is going to be 50 percent then the left as well is going to be 50 percent and then transform translate it's going to be negative 50 percent and negative 50 percent so what this does is going to take out all this from the page and you know we're going to place them however we want to so and i want to give a width of let's do 70 percent and then a margin of uh, zero or to, to center everything so now if i hit save as you can see this text is right in this image all right so for this image uh, what i can do is let's increase this a little so i'm gonna do hero and then img so um first i'm gonna make the object fit set it to cover and then um the height is gonna be 400 pixel now if i save we have a much bigger image right here okay so now let's see how we can style the title and um the details of the author so now for the title remember we gave you the class of title the font size is going to be set to 1.7 rem and then uh, the text align is going to be set to center the color uh, would be white straight up white and then the font weight has to be the biggest so which is 600 that was what we got from um, fonts.google.com then text transform that's going to be capitalized and line height is going to be set to 2.1 rem so i experimented these values that's how i i know what i'm doing all right so next let's start the hero info uh dot hero in or info like that so we're going to set the display to be flexed so that it can be side by side like this as you can see right here all right so next um justify content has to be center uh, line items uh center as well um if i save this now this is what we get so i'm gonna grab the author the author and the date and for both i'll set the color to df 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 just um not too white so font size is going to be um, 0.7 rem and then font weight we're going to make that 500 so now if i save this is what we have right there next so um okay so next let's start the auto and then what we need is positioned relative 
so basically what i'm trying to do now is um i'm just trying to like pardon right okay so i'm trying to put a line in between the author's name and um, the date so that's why i'm doing this and um yeah hmm. for this era info i think I'm, I'm going to add margin top to this and i'm going to make that 1.5 ram so it pushes it down a little bit like so so now since we have our auto set position relative um now i'm going to uh i'm going to set the date as well just i'm just going to add a padding left to this padding of 10 pixel left so there is a space in between just like this so now i'm going to grab the auto and then before so what i'm going to do is set the position to be absolute because it's already relative to this auto right here as you can see so the next thing is the content that is going to be empty and um, the width i'm going to make the width 1.5 pixel and then the height is going to be 100 percent then as for the background uh it's gonna be white straight up white then the right will be zero and the left will be or the top rather will be zero top zero like so so now if i hit save you can see that straight line right here okay so what's next um time for the article itself so i'm gonna grab the h2 and then set the font size to 1.7 ram and then the margin i'm gonna give it three ram to the top zero to the right one ram to the bottom and zero to the left okay so um next the font weight is gonna be 600 just like so so now we have this all right so i'm gonna set the values for the h3 as well so for this h3 i'm just gonna set the font font size uh, is gonna be 1.5 ram and then the margin is gonna be exactly the same 3 ram 0 1 ram and 0 so next the font size is also going to be the same six um not the font size but the font weight yeah that's going to be 600 all right so we just styled this right here okay <clears throat> so next the paragraph so for the paragraph uh there are a couple of things i want to do so the first one is set the font size. I think it's too big for mobile. So the font size, I'm just going to reduce that to like 1.9 RAM. Um, just a little smaller than it already is. Then font weight is going to be set to 300. And uh, the color, I'm just going to use the value I have here, which is um, 2F, 2F, 2F. And then the line height, that's going to be 1.5 rem. So now if I hit save, this is what we have. Looking much better. And there's a lot of content on this page. All right. So this is looking good. So now let's start the, the other sizes. So at media screen and um mean width of about 576 pixel so i'm going to target the section 
and for the section i'm going to set the margin to zero top and bottom and then eight percent left and right so now if i hit save and i bring this over and uh, as soon as it gets to 500 you can see this right here so moving forward um the container that container so i'm going to set this to margin left remember we gave it margin left and margin right of 1.5 rem so now it's going to be auto and um margin right also going to be auto <coughs> all right sorry guys this um styling is really not what we are here for we are here for the javascript part and i'm not going to be that difficult i'm just going to put everything together and then give you the, the file in the description in case you need it so for the font size i'll be increased to 2 rem just like that and then for the auto and then the date we're gonna do a font size of one rem and then font weight of 400 just like that now for the h2 uh what do we need okay for the h2 i'm going to set the font size alone to 2 rem like so and for h3 it's going to be font size 1.6 rem next the paragraph uh the font size is going to be 1 rem all right so this is all for the 5 on the 5 um the 576 width so next we're going to come let me copy this uh, So I'm going to paste this right here and then um, I'm just going to change the value to 767 just like so. Then section is going to be margin of 0 and then 15% like so. So now if i should increase this to 700 just like that all right so for the title uh the font size is going to be increased to about three ram straight up and then the line height It's going to be 4 RAM. And once that is done, we'll set the H2 as well. Font size is going to be about 2.5 RAM. And uh, H3 font size is going to be 2 RAM. And then um yeah that is all for seven six seven all right oh there's something wrong there's a two point eight room All right, this is much better. So, for the screen size of uh, nine eight 
zero. Right here, I'm going to set the section to margin zero auto, and then the font size. Oh, sorry, that's for the title. Font size is going to be three rem, like so. And then the line height, set that to four rem. So now, if I should increase this, yeah, this is what we get. All right, so we are officially done. We're officially done with the styling. So next, let's start the JavaScript part, which we've all been waiting for. I'm not going to do too much explanation. I'm just going to quickly um, make everything work and then I'm going to drop the link in the description below so you can download and use it however you want. So, but first, before we do that, we need to add in um, at the very bottom of our index.html, just after the section, after the section closing tag, we're going to add another div with an ID of um, let's do progress bar and then a class of progress bar as well. I just like styling, it's an habit. I like to start with um, class and then maybe in JavaScript use my IDs. So you don't necessarily have to do this. You can just use one of these, either of these for both styling and then the JavaScript part, but I like to do it this way. So after that, I'm going to come down to the style again. So we are going to style this however we want. So in my case, uh, I'm going to, let me just say progress bar. All right, it's supposed to be full stop. Okay, so first right the box, I want to set the position to fixed. And then the top is going to be zero. And then the left is also going to be zero. And um, the height, I'll leave that to 10 pixel. You can play around with the value you want. The width is going to be zero percent for now. But for the sake of styling, let's make it 40 pixel. Let's do 40 pixel. Or let's do 40 percent. Okay. So after that, um, the background, for the background, we're going to be using linear gradient. So linear gradient um, to right, and then the color code is going to be FC4A1A, um, like so. And the next one is going to be F7 b7 and 3 3 just like that so if i should save this now as you can see this is what it looks like up here okay so the next thing i want to do is set um the z index so it has to be all the way on top of the whole post so i'm going to say to the highest value 999 in this case all right so once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is go to our JavaScript and let's make this work. Okay. So what we can do right here, um, let's grab our progress bar. Uh, and um, document that get element by ID. And then progress but so that's the name of the ID that we gave and then we're going to grab our section as well document that this time we're going to be using query selector and um, right here I'm going to do that section okay so here's what we have at the moment all right 
So we're going to create an animation. So I'm going to say const animation progress bar. I'm going to set that to an arrow function. And in this, I'm going to say let scroll distance equals negative section dot get bounding client rect like so but then we want to get the value of the top okay so next we're going to grab um, set another constant right here not variable right here this is going to be the progress width and it's going to be set to scroll distance divided by um let's do okay section that gets bounding yep like so and then we we'll set the height and then we're gonna minus document dot document element dot client height like so and then we're gonna times that by one hundred just like that. Next the value so we're going to say let value equals math dot floor this is actually not necessary i'm just trying to um, make sure everything has this um uh approximate value so the progress width and then the progress bar dot star that width is equal to the value plus um yeah like so so but for this to work i will have to go back to our star and um, the width is going to be set back to zero percent so it has to be zero percent nothing is showing right here all right so once this is done, what I can do is come down say window dot add event listener and then want to list them for the scroll events and then call out the animate progress bar. Alright, so once that is done, if I hit save now, this should work as you can see up there so guys this is really really easy it is really simple there is nothing difficult about this and um, if i should expand this as you can see this is what we have so for this to be much smoother than it is we are going to go back to the code um, let's go to the style.css i'm just going to add in a transition so for the transition is going to be the width and then we're going to give that 0.2 seconds and then is in out just like that so now it should look much smoother than it was earlier okay so this wraps up the tutorial for today if you want to learn more about my html css and javascript project um, kindly check my channel for all those content. I have a full um, a full portfolio website right there with dark and light version in case you want to check that out. The link will also be in the description below. And please, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.